Hey everyone, today we're talking about the cross. For the message of the cross is foolishness to those who are perishing, but to us who are being saved, it is the power of God. Where's the one who's wise? Where's the scholar? Where's the debater of this age? Has not God made foolish the wisdom of the world? For since in the wisdom of God, the world did not know God through wisdom, God decided through the foolishness of our the, the proclamation to save those who believe. For Jews ask for signs and Greeks desire wisdom, but we proclaim Christ crucified, a stumbling block to Jews and foolishness to Gentiles. To those who are called, both Jews and Greeks, Christ is the power of God and the wisdom of God. For God's foolishness is wiser than human wisdom, and God's weakness is stronger than human strength. Consider your own call, brothers and sisters. Not many of you were wise by human standards. Not many were powerful. Not many were of noble birth. But God chose what is foolish in the world to shame the wise. God chose what is weak in the world to shame the strong. So as Paul is thinking through the problem of division, he settles on the cross as what we unify around. But he also has to point out that the cross makes no sense. The idea that the Son of God would be crucified is just... It seems ridiculous. It's a problem both for Jews and for Gentiles. Or as, as we think about it today, we could see it as not making sense both from a religious standpoint and from a non-religious standpoint. Because from the religious point of view, you would think, well, someone who was killed in such a shameful and painful way must be cursed by God. They must not, not be doing what God wants. Or to think, how could you call someone king that the empire killed as a criminal and a rebel? So the cross shows how God works in upside-down ways. That suffering actually is what leads to salvation. That death is the path to life. That evil is defeated, but not by using evil's methods. We see in the cross that God's strength is found in weakness, and it's through suffering love. So this is not an easy message. It's not a message that's been grasped by the world and really that well by the church, looking at the church's history. Because the wisdom of the world is what we tend to believe in. And the wisdom of the world says that strength is about who you can dominate and overpower. It's about might makes right. It's the idea of redemptive violence. You just kill the wrong people and everything will be, be right. Anytime that someone responds to Jesus' teachings with, well, that's nice, but in the real world, we're going to do this. Well, that's, that's the wisdom of the world. And that kind of wisdom explains why the world is in the state that it's in. The Corinthians should know, Paul is telling them, right? None of you are the people that you would expect God to work through. And it's usually the case for us too. So when will, when will we learn that the foolishness of the cross is the only wise way to live in this foolish world.